One of my next goals with Happier here is to go after the fuel injection system. Yep, that's right. Now, this is a car that has that old mechanical fuel injection system that Mercedes-Benz used during the 60s and right up into the early 1970s. And you know something? Everyone, I'm talking every one of these cars, and I've had a lot of them, they all run rich. I've never had one come into my shop that's running lean. And so, and so is the case with Happier here, this 280SL. Uh, there are three good indicators. You know, if you're new to these cars and you, you, you get one, you know, one of the first things you want to do is go look at the, at the tailpipe. You see that right there? Look at these tailpipes. Look at how dark and black they are. Let me roll my finger in here. See that? Look at that. See that soot? That heavy black soot that you see here? That is an indication, uh, that's an obvious indication that this car is running rich. There, there's other things, you know, you can, the drivability, the power, the curve, the acceleration, you know, if you've been around one a long time, you can kind of feel when the engine is running rich. But if, you, if you're just looking at one of these cars, or you just acquired one, just go look at the tailpipe. I mean, obviously, you could have a, an engine that's burning a lot of oil that could create a similar type of soot. You'll, it takes experience to know whether that's, that's oil soot or excess carbon from unburnt fuel, okay? Now, I want to show you two more. There's two more other good indicators of uh, excessively rich mixture on these old engines, and I'm going to show those to you now. The next good indicator are your spark plugs. You know, you can, pull, you can pull a couple plugs out of the engine and just, just take a look at the tips here. Uh, you can see how dark and black and sooty these are. Now, if they're black and wet, that could be an indication it's burning uh, excessive oil. But in this case, these three plugs that I pulled out of this 280SL here, the, the plugs aren't very old, by the way, but it's obvious that it's, they've been, um, you know, not able to completely burn the fuel. By too rich, I cor of course, I mean too much fuel in ratio to the air entering the engine. So that's number two. Now let's talk about number three. The third indicator is the oil inside the engine oil pan. Um, what I always do this with a car, with this fuel injection system, is you pull out the dipstick, look at the oil, look how thin the oil, if it's very watery, uh, that's not a real good sign, but the best test is to give a little smell. Now, when I, when I acquired this car, when I did this, it was, uh, the fill mark was a little over full. Remember, the car had been sitting for four years, and it really smelled like gasoline. So we changed the oil. Now, I've driven the car about 100, 150 miles. That's it. And I'm still picking up just, just a faint. You know, this is something you get you get used to with experience, but I'm just picking up a faint uh, gasoline smell in the oil. And that's so typical of, of these old fuel injected engines. I, you know, like I said, I've seen so many of them and it's, all, it's like you're always you know, chasing this uh, rich mixture problem. And of course, the, the, obviously fuel economy is an issue, but this, this gasoline Getting into the engine oil is the worst thing that you can allow your engine to, to do. I mean, what happens is that gasoline, that excessive gasoline does get burned off. It's washing the cylinder walls down when your pistons are going up and down. It's taking the oil away from the piston rings, and that really leads to excessive ring wear, and that leads to low compression, which makes the engine run even worse, and, and so on and on it goes. So, if you have one of these, you're, you're picking up a lot of gasoline and oil, get it fixed or you won't be happy. It'll be expensive over the long haul. So now you're thinking, well, Kent, okay, what do you do about this rich mixture situation? Well, that's going to be a subject of a brand new series. So this will function as the introduction to my old Mercedes runs too rich. And that's not uh, money-wise rich, that's fuel rich. And there could be a number of things, you know, a number of things causing this, a number of things you need to do to fix it. So we're, in this series, we're going to go over, you know, compression, valve adjustment, 
tuning, because these are the things you want to do before you even start tackling the fuel injection system. You want to make sure that uh, the engine is healthy. Now I've pulled, I've pulled a distributor cap off here and I'm looking at the points. Of course, of course the points are burnt and poor spark is a, a major issue with these engines. Weak spark, weak burn leads to rich mixture. And then finally you have all this, all this linkage here. You have the pump, you have all these devices which regulate the, the amount of fuel, when, when both when the engine's cold, when the engine's hot. So there's a number of things that you may to do. And there's gonna be a number of things I have to do to get this engine running properly again, okay? So we'll be going over that in future parts in the series. If this is something you're interested in learning about, be sure to subscribe to my channel Leave, the, leave your comments, you know, if you have particular issues with your old Mercedes and you want me to address them in this series, leave those comments below and we'll start on this series soon, soon so stay tuned for the next episode. Rolling after three seconds. The, the third... <laughs> Ha <coughs> ha!